had an AM radio. I had a 1977 Nova. And uh, the AM radio started playing them off. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. I, I could get into this. It left an impression on me. I was like, this is what I do. I, I, I had no idea what it was because the show just ended. From there, I started researching more about the moth and, and I honestly believe the moth was created just for me. My name is Edgar Ruiz Jr. I'm a storyteller, host, and uh, instructor for the community program. The first moth story slam I went to was in the Bronx. My friend called me like, the, the moth is gonna be at the Bronx. I'm like, yes. I'm going and I'm going to go tell a story. And I knew I was going to get picked that night. I got addicted to the moth. It was the, the addiction, the rush that you on stage and people were listening to. There was at least 300 people. The, the energy on the stage, the crowd was amazing. Like, like there was a part where I got emotional and the crowd picked me up. They were so vulnerable. They were just, people were just putting themselves out into the world. And, and, and that's exactly what I, what my writing was about. Like, going into a place where and discussing issues and topics that people are afraid to talk about and that's what i love the most about it the vulnerability most people come to a slam and they're afraid to participate because they feel like they don't have stories to tell everybody has stories everyone has a story and they just need to they need the right push you need to they need to be encouraged to tell their stories the question slips are gateway drugs to storytelling these slips, we ask you a question, and you guys answered a few of them. The slips allow allows them to see, hear their stories in front of the crowd. And I encourage them, like, this is a mob story. You need to be up here. You need to tell this story. You need to come back here next time and tell this story. Tell me a time <laughs> you had buyer's remorse. My English degree. <laughs> tell us a time where you should have let it be answered a phone call from an ex who broke my heart. When I say goodbye to my crowds, I like to, I like to give them a metaphorical hug. And I like to make sure to leave them with a, a feeling of wanting more. 